Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be all about skincare pillowcases. Here's the deal with today's video. I've actually been thinking about making this video for a while because over the years I've tried a lot of skincare pillowcases and I thought you know it might be nice to just make a video where you rank them where you know you've tried these long enough that you could just sit there and say this is the one that I put above and beyond the rest this is why I'm ranking these a little lower etc I felt like I kind of needed to hurry up with this video because I noticed that there was some interest in the silk pillowcases in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I've also seen this question all over the place. Are these skincare pillowcases really worth it? So we should probably start this video with a quick explanation of skincare pillowcases. Hold on, I thought skincare just comes in bottles. What are you talking about skincare pillowcases? To give you guys the short version of the story here, the idea is that you've been sleeping on a cotton pillowcase your whole life, you're dealing with acne, you want to prevent aging, and these pillowcases are going to step in and help a little bit. And the reason for this is that cotton is a fabric that absorbs things very well, therefore if you are putting your acne skin on your cotton pillowcase, it is absorbing the bacteria and potentially spreading it when you go to sleep on that pillowcase the next night. And the idea behind anti-aging pillowcases is that they are supposed to help prevent gravitational wrinkles from forming, which are indeed lines you get from sleeping at night, scrunching your face into your pillow. But obviously the question here is, do they really work? Are they really worth the money? Which is why I wanna open up this video with some alternative ideas of things you could do if you're thinking, maybe this could benefit me, but I don't really have the money to be buying any kind of expensive pillows or pillowcases. So free or cheap option number one, if you are dealing with acne, you can certainly do a trick that I've seen go around the skincare circles, and that is to change your pillowcase every night. If you're not able to wash your pillowcase, you can take a cotton shirt, put it over your pillowcase. It may look a little funny, but it will certainly give you a new surface to sleep on every single night. Just rotate seven t-shirts an entire week. I feel like that one is such an old school trick, but there's some serious validity to that. If you're concerned about bacteria, then change your pillowcase every night, even if that means just putting a t-shirt over it. And number two for anti-aging purposes is to force yourself to sleep on your back as you do have less concern over those gravitational wrinkles if you're not smushing your face into a pillow. Now, this one does get tricky because I understand that some people try really hard to sleep on their back and then still wake up on their stomach. So that's what we're going to be talking about through the rest of the video. What are some solutions for that type of situation? So let's go ahead and start with my number four pick. I'm going to be ranking four instead of five. I've actually technically tried five, but we're going to, we're going to stick with categories here. So number four, the worst is absolutely the skin laundry silver pillowcase. So the idea behind this pillowcase is that it is supposed to be washed in silver ion technology. Silver is antibacterial, so therefore you are supposed to be able to sleep on this pillowcase for more nights than you would be able to with just a basic cotton pillowcase and still have some antibacterial activity coming from your pillow itself. Cool. That's all good in theory, but the problem with this pillowcase is that it is merely washed in silver ions. And guess what that means is going to happen to your pillowcase as you wash it. That's right, you will indeed be washing the silver ions right out of that pillowcase so that in the end you have an Amazon Basics cotton pillowcase. Trust me, because I can no longer tell the difference in my collection between this pillowcase and the Amazon basic pillowcases. I cannot, I cannot tell a difference. Now, in fairness to Skin Laundry, they claim that their pillowcase is tested for up to 50 washes, but I still have a problem with this. And my problem is that even if you're using a silver pillowcase, you should still be washing it as often as you possibly can. Now, I realistically absolutely cannot wash my pillowcase every night. I don't have the time for it, but you should not feel like, oh, I don't want to wash this again because I'm going to be washing up more of those silver ions. So I kind of feel like this is a product that offers a solution and 
then the thing that is actually probably the smartest move, you're discouraged from doing. So I really, I really don't like it. I would certainly not recommend it. And the funny thing is I still didn't pay full price. I believe I got this for 50% off in an Ulta 21 days of beauty deal, still would not, would not repurchase. Number three on my list, and just so you guys know, I'm putting pictures up rather than show you these because I feel like not only is this not a practical setup for showing you pillowcases, but all of my pillowcases look a little rough. I think I might be a monster in my sleep. We've had this conversation. I also do wash them often. I do try to take my own advice as often as I can. Anyway, number three is Sylvan's Silver Pillowcases. Now the reason that this is actually ranking higher than Skin Laundry's is that this one is not washed in silver ions. This one you actually have silver threading that you can very visibly see in this pillowcase. Now I was gifted this pillowcase from Sylvan. I was gifted everything else in this video, by the way, but I think the interesting thing about ranking is I'm still forced to talk about the pros and cons, even if I do have bias from receiving these products. Hopefully I don't, I try really hard not to have a bias, but you know, we probably, we probably all still have our own biases. However, I will tell you guys, this was the first pillowcase that I actually felt was making a difference. Now, all this said, the thing about this pillowcase is that while it is targeting acne, it's not targeting anti-aging, and the other pillowcases I'm gonna talk about actually do potentially do both. So even though I do like this pillowcase and I do recommend it for acne, I don't think that it's going to be a case of, okay, I bought this pillowcase and now I don't ever feel tempted by another pillowcase because I remember very well, in fact, when I had only this pillowcase and I was looking at silk pillowcases going, hmm. Number two on my list might actually surprise some of you and I've seen a lot of the discussion around this particular pillow at this time and that is the Sleep and Glow pillow. Here's the deal with this pillow. This is actually an excellent design at forcing you to sleep at least on your side, if not on your back. It's practically impossible to comfortably sleep on this in your stomach. Did I just say in your stomach? I think I did. On your stomach. That would be very strange if you were capable of sleeping inside of your own stomach. So in terms of giving credit where credit is due, this pillow works. If that's your issue, if you are tired of sleeping on your stomach, you can't comfortably sleep on your stomach with this one. Here's the real reason why this is number two on my list, comfort. I do like to sleep on my stomach, and for me, eh, getting a couple lines versus having an incredibly insomnia-based night of not being able to sleep because I can't get comfortable, I'm not sure it's completely worth it to me, and that's the other con with this pillow, is it is actually quite pricey. But again, not only does this pillow work for its advertised benefit, but we found an uh, additional benefit down the road. Now, after using this pillow, I got sent another pillowcase, and that's when I passed the pillow along to Ara. Now, I don't know if I've talked about this on this channel, maybe I have, but Ara does have some neck and some back issues, while I do not. I have more issues in my legs, you know, everybody's got their own problems, but for me, it's not my back or my neck. However, when she started sleeping on that pillow, she told me a few days later, that pillow is making my neck not hurt in the mornings. It was a really win-win trade because I was back to sleeping on my stomach on my number one pick in this video and she's over there saying that her neck is getting some relief from this expensive pillow that I didn't necessarily love sleeping on. But again, coming back around to the price, it really is a pricey investment and if you're just not sure that you're gonna sleep comfortably on your back, it may not be worth it for you. On the other hand, I've got Ara over here saying this made a huge difference in her entire life. So, you know, things to keep in mind with a very expensive product. Another thing I wanted to note with the Sleeping Glow is that they do sell a silk pillowcase. So if that is something that you're interested in instead of just their cotton one, you can certainly buy that. And again, with silk, silk may help with acne as well as anti-aging benefits because the fabric is not absorbent. Which brings us to number one, my top pick out of all the skincare pillowcases that I've tried to this day, it's still a silk pillowcase. So here's a list of all of the reasons why silk just stole my heart and wins over all of these pillows and pillowcases. So when you sleep on silk, it is 
cool to the touch, which is so lovely in the middle of summer. It just always maintains a cool sensation to it. So it's just so comfortable to smush your face into, especially if you are a side or a stomach sleeper. Mm, it is delightful. And I noticed very quickly that you, you know those sleep lines you get from sleeping on a cotton pillowcase? You know, you have them for like 15, 30 minutes in the morning. I noticed I did not get those at all when I started sleeping on silk, which is the reason why this whole idea of gravitational wrinkles, I kind of feel like it sounds a bit bizarre, but then knowing that I do wake up with lines on my face when I sleep on a cotton pillowcase, I feel like I, I, there's, there's some validity to that that I don't like but it does exist. Silk also has a lot of benefits for the hair, which is why I started recommending silk scrunchies as soon as I tried them. If you are tired of getting dents in your hair, silk scrunchies will help to prevent that and sleeping on a silk pillowcase, same thing. And like I mentioned a few moments ago, it is also helpful for preventing acne because again, it is not an absorbent fabric. But there are a few things you need to know about buying a silk pillowcase. This video isn't sponsored in any kind of way. I'm just making this for funsies. So I don't have any particular brand recommendation for you necessarily. However, I think it is important to make sure that you are buying from a legitimate company. There's been a few cases of uh, silk being sold when it wasn't silk. And by the way, Sephora is guilty of this. They weren't selling it per se. It was a, a points perk for a supposedly silk pillowcase. When people got it, it wasn't silk. Ugh. So no, that can go on even with larger retailers. So what's really important in buying silk is that you have to make sure you pay attention to the measure called the Momi. So I've received two pillowcases from My K Silk and from Fake Care, and both of those were 22 Momi. So I tend to suspect that's probably a good one to aim for. 19 is going to be a little less, and then 25 is the most luxurious. So ultimately, silk wins for being comfortable, for being versatile, and for being something where you know, you're not necessarily stuck going to one particular brand, as there are many companies who sell silk pillowcases. I will go ahead and have some links in the description box below if you want to check out any of the products that I talked about. But that is all I have for today's video. Do feel free to share with me your thoughts and any experiences that you have had with skincare pillowcases. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.